Bentley, one of the world's most sought-after luxury car brand, has decided to go electric with its luxury electric vehicle. Set to be manufactured in transformed England crew factory. Let's look into how the factory looks like and operates. We'll also discover which Bentley model will be manufactured there. So let's take a look inside the Bentley's factory. For decades, Bentley has been a watchword for expensive motoring, and this is unlikely to change with its shift to electric. The British car maker has revealed plans for its first fully electric car to roll off production lines in 2025 as part of a 2.5 billion pound investment into electric motoring. The luxury automaker, known for its large and powerful cars, announced in late 2020 that it would stop making vehicles that run on fossil fuels by 2030, aiming to make its operation fully carbon neutral by the same date. As sales of the new petrol and diesel cars will be banned in the UK from 2030, the investment will also be used to transform its crew plant to make it suitable for mass electric vehicle production. Bentley also unveiled an electrification strategy called Beyond 100. Beyond 100 strategy is to redefine the company as a benchmark luxury automotive manufacturer. According to Bentley, the cash injection is a critical step in the Beyond 100 strategy charting the second century of the company founded in 1919 by engineer Walter Owen. As part of the brand's Beyond 100 strategy, mapping out its plans beyond its centenary, the company set itself ambitious targets in the transition towards electric vehicles. Bentley's switch from building cars with internal combustion engines will involve making of hybrid vehicles before introducing its first pure electric cars with zero carbon exhaust emissions. According to the automaker, the hybrid of the Bentega SUV will retail at 155,000 pounds but no information has been released about the fully electrified vehicle. While the cost of its fully electric car has not been revealed, it could be the most expensive on the market. Bentley says that the first fully electrified Bentley will roll off the production line within three years, and within eight years, every new car will be fully electric as the crew plant in Northwest England is transformed into a dream factory. The automaker hailed the 10-year investment as a vote of confidence in Britain and a major boost for the UK economy. Bentley bosses also say that the new fully electric Game Changer car in 2025 will be large, sporty, and fast, and the first in a new cycle of five electric cars with all new body styles, which could mean a massive expansion and growth of the company and its sales. According to Bentley, the first battery electric vehicle scheduled to roll off the production line in starting in 2025 will mark a significant moment in Bentley's long, illustrious history. It's also a critical step in the company's Beyond 100 strategy, the groundbreaking plan launched in 2020 that will ensure Bentley is exclusively electric and end-to-end -end carbon neutral by 2030. The luxury car maker has revealed that its first fully electric car will be developed and built at its crew factory, which is its sole assembly facility globally. The crew factory is a fully integrated site which engages in all aspects of car production from designing, engineering, manufacturing, quality, sales, and marketing. The site covers an area of 521,111 meters square with 166,930 meters square indoors. Two lines operate inside the main assembly hall, one for the assembling of the Bentega model and one for the Continental and Flying Spur models. The flagship Mulsanne is hand-built in a separate assembly area, and also the automaker plans to create a separate assembly and transform it for the production of the battery electric vehicle. The energy used in the factory is supplied by solar panels installed on the roof. The 20,815 solar panels on Bentley's factory roof can supply up to 40% of the site's electrical requirements and save an estimated 2,150 tons of CO2 emissions per year. Situated over 3.45 hectares of roof space, the solar panels generate enough energy to power 1,200 houses for a year. Bentley outlined its plans to launch five newly fully electrified cars four years from now, all designed with completely new body styles and developed in crew. Bentley's plant at its Cheshire headquarters will be turned into an advanced manufacturing facility as part of its move towards environmental sustainability. Bentley said the factory, which its luxury electric vehicles will be built, will employ 4,000 people and it would become a dream factory equipped with cutting-edge technology to reduce waste and allow consumers to personalize vehicles to their needs. Also, there would be opportunities for the current 4,000-strong workforce to learn new high-tech skills needed for cars with greater digital content and autonomy. The automaker says that workers who build the brand's internal combustion engines will be retrained and redeployed to work in different areas of the plant. Adrian Hallmark, Bentley's chairman and chief executive, executive said, securing production of our first battery electric vehicle and crew is a milestone moment for Bentley and the United Kingdom as we plan for a long-term sustainable future in crew. Bentley bosses also say the new Bentley Dream Factory will elevate the site into a world-leading next-generation digital, low-environmental impact, high-valued advanced manufacturing facility that combines craftsmanship and digital manufacturing techniques. 
He also noted that it will transform Bentley's operations into the future benchmark of luxury car manufacturing with unique customer and employee experiences. The significant investment program will also result in a complete transformation of Bentley's entire product portfolio and the historic Crew factory. The company's headquarters in Crew is home to all of its operations, including design, research and development, engineering and production of the company's three model lines, Continental, Flying Spar, and Bentega. Earlier this year, Bentley announced record sales of up to nearly a third as it charged ahead with ambitious plans to electrify its entire range. It announced record deliveries of 14,659 cars to customers worldwide in 2021, an increase of 31% on its previous record year in 2020 when it sold a then-record 11,206 luxury vehicles. The automaker highlighted the unprecedented demand for its petrol-electric hybrid models, spearheaded by the Bentega SUV priced at £155,000 and the new Flying Spur limousine from £164,000. Some one in five Bentega cells alone are of new hybrid models as it commits to being the first fully electrified and zero carbon luxury car company in the world. Bentley bosses say the results are a testament to the workforce and to measures taken to continue production despite COVID, logistical issues and global shortages of key computer chips needed in modern cars, and of course, increasing demand for new hybridized models. Peter Bosch, board member for manufacturing at Bentley Motors, also said that the journey really does start now. We're already marking the pinnacle in luxury car production and have already transformed our factory to become carbon neutral with industry-leading environmental credentials. With our new Dream Factory concept, we now go to zero, also with water, waste, and other environmental impacts until 2030. Unique craftsmanship, customer interaction, and employee experience will be enhanced by digital tech, higher flexibility, and new ways of personalization. The transition from internal combustion engine to battery electric vehicle is a major move for the automaker, which is best known for its uber-luxurious vehicles and 8- and 12-cylinder engines that cost millions of dollars. The change is necessary. As the United Kingdom's ban on new fossil fuel cars starts in 2030, the plan is part of the nation's 10-point green industrial revolution aimed at helping the countries reach net-zero emissions by 2050. And this is because the transportation industry is responsible for roughly 30% of all greenhouse gas emissions. 85% of a car's carbon emission comes from fuel use. So, a global switch to electric vehicles could cut emissions across most regions. Bentley follows several other automakers, which have also announced their plan to move away from vehicles with traditional internal combustion engines to electric powertrains, with the plan to launch several electric vehicles in the coming years. These automakers include Honda, Volvo, General Motors, and Ford. So, what do you think about Bentley's Transform Factory? What do you think about Bentley's translation to electrification? What will a fully electric Bentley look like? Let me know, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.